What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to talk to you guys today about the latest OBS update. Single PC streamers rejoice. And the big question I have for today is dual PC streaming a thing of the past? Let's check it out. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, we're going to start the test today by actually running a gaming benchmark. Um, we're not even going to use a normal game. We're going to use one of the pieces of software I typically use to test my overclocks on my video card, and this is the, um, the Heaven benchmark. Now, this thing does hammer on the video card pretty hard. You can see I've got some statistics on the top of the screen. Right now, my GPU is at 95 to 97% utilization. CPU is chilling about 13. This is much more of a GPU-intensive benchmark, but that's the important part because that's what we're testing today. So the latest update of OBS allows you to run it in administrator mode and when you run it in admin What it does is the wizards over at OBS allowed the software to reserve resources from the GPU to make sure it maintains 60 FPS Regardless of how hard your GPU is being pummeled by whatever application you're running now Typically people have always run uh, two PCs so they can run their games Just you know as hard as they want to and then the second PC is obviously for streaming so they don't need to worry about any kind of load on the video card because that's been the big stop for us for a long time as a single pc streamer i had to cap my frame rate i had to lower my video card you know my uh, graphic settings i had to jump through all these hoops to make sure if i wanted to stream flawless stream flawlessly at 1080p 60 i had to leave you know about 10 percent even 15 percent overhead on my video card to make sure obs had enough in reserve to do what it wanted to now with this latest update i no longer have to do that i've actually gained about 10 to 12 percent back on my video card the stream stays at 60 fps as it is right now while i record this and the game runs as fast as it's going to run it really is amazing we ran a bunch of tests the other night on stream and everything i threw at it it just one after another after another stream stayed completely stable while i was hammering the hell out of the video card and it really goes to show that this update with uh, OBS is proving that, you know, dual PC streaming, whether it be now, personally, I think it's now, or in the near future, is definitely going to be a thing of the past. The, the, the I guess, ease of use, if you will, um, reduced headaches, not having to worry about audio, setting up one decent PC. I'm not even encoding right now on the CPU. I'm encoding on the video card. And as you can tell, it looks great. And so like, I don't know. I always wanted to set up and build a beast of a PC for sure. Um, for uh, reference, it's a 9900K, five gigahertz, uh, RTX 2080, 32 gigs of RAM, couple SSDs, figure out the rest. Um, but I always wanted to build a very strong single PC so I could stream off it and just be like, this is the quality you can get from a single PC if you do your homework right. With that being said, in this new update, I'm pretty confident you could roll in with, you know, uh, a 1660, as long as it's the Turing that supports the new NVEC encoder. Um, and you don't have to go, like, you know, all the way to the moon in terms of a PC build to stream with good quality anymore. It really is pretty nuts, the improvements that NVIDIA has made and OBS have made, uh, you know, just over the past year to really kind of bring single PC streaming into the realm of possibility. So as you can see here again, 240 FPS in the benchmark, 94, 95% utilization on the video card. Stream is chilling at 60 FPS, not even batting an eye. Before this update, if I were to do this, my stream would be at like 10 to 15 frames per second. It would be a huge choppy mess. It would be completely unwatchable. But now this latest update, when you run OBS in administrator mode, proof is in the pudding. And um, I don't know, I'm really happy. We're going to go ahead and we're going to switch over to uh, Borderlands 3. We'll take a look at how a uh, new latest release game works and uh, see if we get the same kind of results. All right, guys, we've got Borderlands 3 up and running. We're going to run a uh, benchmark to test this update here in this game as well since it's a newer title. Uh, as you can see here, I've got everything cranked to ultra, so I'm going to completely max it out. Um, again, the game is at 1080p, and the stream is set to 1080p 60 FPS. So um, let's load this thing up. And uh, let's see how this new encoder setting does. And again, the only thing I've done to OBS, guys, post this update, is just start OBS in Administrator. It takes care of the rest. I'm streaming on the new NVEC encoder, uh, once again, for, uh, for uh, the DEETS. Uh, new NVEC encoder, RTX 2080, 9900K, 32 gigs of RAM. 
Um, but regardless, the big purpose of this uh, update is just to make sure that OBS reserves the GPU usage that it needs to make sure it maintains 60 FPS or 30 FPS or whatever you have set for your stream to make sure it maintains your goals, right? And uh, through the last benchmark and this benchmark, uh, so far, I have seen no frames dropped, 60 FPS in the stream, and the GPU has been hit for somewhere between 95 and 97 percent. Again, typically for me to do this, I would have to cap Borderlands 3 and this benchmark to about 55 to 60 FPS just to make sure I have enough headroom to make sure the stream would stay where it's at. Now I just open OBS, let it do its thing. I can play my games and I don't have to worry, which is absolutely amazing. So really just like looking at all the things, uh, looking at the steps, looking at how easy they've made this, it really is awesome to see this kind of performance without the user having to do anything else. We did uh, an Astroneer stream the other night as well. Uh, I streamed for about three and a half hours and over the three and a half hours, I dropped zero frames. And again, just uncapped the frame rate and let it roll and just kind of let it do its thing. OBS took care of the rest and gave me a nice, smooth, solid, stable stream for the entire time without me having to worry about a thing. And as a single PC streamer, that's a godsend. All right, guys, so there you guys have it. That was the Heaven Benchmark as well as Borderlands 3, both running at essentially max settings and an uncapped frame rate uh, at uh, 1920 by 1080, and then OBS running at 1920 by 1080, uh, 60 FPS as well. Uh, previously, as I mentioned before in the video, before this OBS update, I would have had to cap frame rate, lower graphics settings, do what I could to leave about 80, or leave my GPU at 85 to 80 to 85% um, utilization. Now, with the new with the new OBS update the resource allocation stuff is taken care of on OBS aside and so it really kind of gave me about 10% of my GPU back while also giving me a very solid stream so the big question is is dual PC a thing of the past um, I would say depending on who you are for the most part absolutely and the reason I say that is because you know, I've run um, the uh, the Twitch analyzer tools on quite a few different channels out there for people to see kind of what they're chasing in terms of uh, what encoders they're running or, uh, you know, what is uh, what is their bit rate and, and things like that. And for the most part, I'm always coming across channels that have X264 medium, fast, very fast and super fast. And at this point in time, you guys can check out some of my other videos for reference. The new uh, touring based NVIDIA NVEC encoder will do as good, if not better job than X264 medium. And so anybody who's running a worse preset than that is already off on the wrong foot. Um, since OBS has taken care of the GPU resource allocation issues that we had before in the past as a single PC streamer, I really can't find a reason now why you would want to do a dual PC setup. Uh, it's going to have, you know, more complication with the audio. It's going to give you more headaches. It's going to cost you more money. Um, it's going to do uh, more power consumption, uh, more heat. Uh, what do you call it? It will produce more heat. So inside your stream room, you're going to be getting even hotter because now you've got two PCs cranking instead of one. But that being said, it definitely isn't a solution for everybody out there because there's, you know, a, uh, I would say the 1%, if you will, on Twitch who really chase the high quality bar and who are running, you know, high uh, core slash thread, uh, threaded rigs uh, with, you know, X264 uh, slow and custom encoder, um, you know, um, modifiers and, and whatnot to really get that super clear best picture they possibly can on the limited bit rate that we're allowed to on Twitch. For that, you know, for that very small segment, I don't think that this OBS update is gonna make a huge impact. That being said, for absolutely everybody else, which is again, is the majority of the platform, I cannot see the reason for running dual PC um, just because this update is so good and it seems so stable that when you, you know, if you wanna get into streaming, you wanna have some fun with it, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Build yourself, a, you know, a decent PC, stream, game, have fun and that's really about it so that's my quick takeaway uh super high level for the majority of people out there no reason to go dual pc anymore uh if you're that top one percent that's chasing like absolute fidelity of the greatest degree then obviously a dual pc setup with x264 slow 
custom encoders and a high you know high core high thread cpu will be the way to go but uh but that's just kind of my hot take on it so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys ever want to ask me any questions live feel free to catch me over at twitch.tv slash cardo and uh, as always dudes thank you so much for watching feel free to like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time and uh be excellent and stay humble peace out